that's the North Platte here in southern Wyoming. Place called Dugway Campground. It's a free campground about eight miles north of I 80, just north of the town of Sinclair. Sinclair really isn't a town, it's just a refinery. BLM campground, it's free, and uh, I'm the only one here. <laughs> Can't beat living down by the river, I guess. There was somebody else here. It's uh, being just off I-80. You get some people coming in here overnight. Good place to stop over. You see the campsites. They're not much more than a picnic table and a fire pit. Pit toilets over there. But you are camped right along the Platte River. Come over here by the van. I'm only here for, I don't know, two or three days. We got a real cold snap coming in in a couple days. Talking lows of below 20. So I'm gonna go find a state park where I can plug in my electric heater and uh, crank that thing up. And it's supposed to be 70 again for a couple weeks. We're getting into spring and I'm gonna get down across the Great Plains here. Um, yeah, it's gated to the river, but you can open it up and go down there if you want. They just done, a, I think it's open range and they want to keep the cows out of here. And that's the plat. And it's really kind of, well, that rock up there is really kind of cool. Yeah, Dugway Campground. Great place for a overnight if you're coming across Wyoming on 80. I said there's no one here right now, but I'm sure that someone will stop in before the before the end of the day. Picnic table, fire pit, and uh, a whole lot of quiet. I'm not in Kansas anymore. Actually, I, I was in Kansas. Um, this is going to be a short video just to catch you up what I've been doing. Uh, last time I was in Salt Lake City, Provo area, and uh, took out of there. Uh, went up across I-80, um, stayed a few days in Wyoming at a free BLM campground, uh, Dugway. And then a cold front came in and uh, Ended up going down to northeastern Colorado, to a state park there, um, Sterling, North Sterling. Nice place. I was the only camper there because it got down to, um, well, one night it got down to 15 degrees. I had to plug in, keep warm, hunker down, let that cold front go across the uh, Great Plains, followed it, and went to um, Kansas and stayed a few days uh, another free BLM campground um, right on the water in Kansas. Stayed there a few days. 
and then came here. And um, I'm right on the path of totality on, I got some bikers going by, right on the path of totality here in a state park just south of Indianapolis. And uh, yeah, I'm watching some people go by. And I'm going to watch the eclipse here and um, then head back into Michigan. And probably the uh, videos now that I'm getting back towards Michigan, probably going to stop for the summer as I do a bunch of family stuff and uh, start again uh, next year. 2025 winter trip will be down in Florida. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, check out the uh, eclipse. Maybe I'll get some video of that and uh, hopefully some really good photos. So, yeah, this is a uh, cool state park here. Let me show you around. And I'll show you the uh, campground. When I get back. Yeah, this is uh, Payne Town Campground, just south of Indianapolis. And uh, show you around. It's a pretty nice campground. It's got a whole bunch of stuff going on for the eclipse tomorrow. And it looks like some stuff there on the left. At the activity center. This is the beach area. And uh, I'm ride down towards the uh, campground. Show you that area. Oh, camp store there on the left. It's on a big reservoir. Dump stations, brand new. They just opened up yesterday. And uh, coming into the campground. This place is full for the uh, eclipse tomorrow. I don't believe there's a single site open. I am all the way at the back, so we get to go through the entire campground, at least the main road. You can see just how full this place is. It's standing room only. Take a look at this truck camper coming at us. He's parked next to me, or at least he was. I've been staring at it for two days.
And I'm back here in the back. Yeah. More sterling. That is just so cool. You can see the planets down there. Totality. Even all the lights came on. The frog started singing. That is just cool.